allow me to return to the world, to the uh, realm of geopolitics, a realm in which I am in no wise <clears throat> uh, anything close to an expert, but which I will venture to comment nevertheless in the forthcoming video. It's recently um, been basically understood or, or stated by some authorities, even though I guess it hasn't been technically admitted by the, the White House uh, itself, the entity known as the White House. Um, it's basically been understood that in recent days, lame duck Biden, uh, dementia afflicted Biden, um, has apparently given Ukraine, the Ukraine, the Kiev regime in Ukraine permission to use long range missiles, uh, to strike within the territory of Russia. And Russia has responded to this by saying any attack on our actual uh, homeland uh, of Russia, as opposed to just uh, something that happens um, in the disputed area of Ukraine, uh, will will re will result in a swift uh, response, um, a swift and deadly response, something along those lines. I, I, I'm not I'm just I'm just approximating what they were saying, uh, but uh, there's been an escalation since this has come out and, and this basically amounts to an escalation on the part of, uh, the, uh, uh, the Western, um, allies of Ukraine. Uh, although some, as, as I've, uh, as I understand it, some European countries have said, yes, right on, we're, we're with Ukraine, uh, uh, doing this. You know, that is striking a blow, uh, launching these missiles at targets within Russia itself. And other European countries have said, no, we're not, we're not uh, with this. And some haven't commented at all. And the White House, again, seemingly hasn't commented itself, hasn't, ex hasn't made this expressly clear, but it's been put out there to be understood. Um, so... It's hard to know what to make of all of this, uh, whether it's just blustering brinksmanship, uh, but it certainly doesn't seem like a good thing to me. And I want to make certain certain things clear that might some things that m might surprise you, uh, if you um, whether or not you share my my stance on uh, American foreign policy, uh, which is generally negative. Uh, towards towards um, the things that, that have been done <clears throat> by our State Department, by our CIA, <clears throat> and uh, other such institutions. Um, I don't think much good has come of it, and I don't think it, it springs from much good uh, in, uh, in conception. Um, that said... I was almost ready to pivot just a little bit, just the tiniest little bit on the Ukraine issue. And that was when I, uh, I read, um, uh, Alexander Dugan's latest essay that was published over at arctos.com where he said something like, you know, with these peace talks coming up, you know, uh, with Trump wanting to make sure that, uh, wanting to, to, uh, to bring peace, uh, to war torn Ukraine. Uh, he, he says Trump and, uh, the allies might offer something like, okay, uh, uh Russia can have, uh, uh, a hold of the, uh, might offer the, the suggestion Russia gets, uh, the Eastern territory of Ukraine, which is more Russian, where, where, which has a population that overwhelmingly favors uh, being independent and being allied with Russia, as opposed to Western Ukraine, which which uh, wants to be 
independent from Russia and wants to be allied with the West. So the suggestion will be to carve up Ukraine, give give Eastern Ukraine its independence, and let it let the those uh, Eastern territories, um, as well as the Crimea, which is the south uh, part of Ukraine, which also uh, has a similar uh, uh, dimension in so far as the population there uh, wants to be allied with Russia, wants to be independent from from Ukraine and the West. <clears throat> versus the Kiev regime, which and the Western Ukraine generally, which sees itself as distinct from Russia, wants to be its own uh, uh, establishment, its own power, uh, free from Russian influence. That the offer will be okay. We'll let Russia have. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll let uh, uh, Russia have what it it's it was wanting. Uh, it seemingly initially which is to, to say Eastern Ukraine uh, to be under its, uh, under its sway while Western Ukraine still stays uh, independent and allied with what the West generally. Well, Dugan's response to that was, no, uh, when, we get, when, when we hear that offer, we are going to say, no, we want all of Ukraine. And I will post that... Uh, a link to to that article for your own perusal, but when I when I read that article, I thought to myself, "Hmm, I don't know. That doesn't that doesn't sound good to me." The idea that Russia would just gobble up all of Ukraine, uh, including including uh, the western portion of it, that doesn't seem that seems counterproductive uh, to the interests of peace. I'm very much pro-secession. I'm very much in favor of uh, regions that, that have a distinct nationality and have a, have a distinct uh, um, uh, inclination to want to be independent, um, you know, to, for them to uh, have the ability to, to do so. Um, to me, that is, you know, part of self-determination, um, and of course, it's a, it, it's not always an easy process, and you know, it, it, it uh, but it's be, it's it's a better solution uh, than bloodshed, and it's a better solution than uh, um, than um, some tyrannical power holding uh, this this entire holding this group in subjection, holding this region in subjection. Um, and not letting it have, not letting them have their own uh, self determination. So I thought the the idea of of uh, there being the 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 portions of Ukraine that want to secede from the Kiev regime being allowed to do so while the Kiev regime and and Western Ukraine generally remains uh, what it is and remains. Uh, what it wants to be apparently allied with, with the West. Uh, I thought that was a good solution. And now Dugan, who is at least has some, uh, you know, some capacity as advisor to the Kremlin. It's not clear to what degree he does. Um, you know, some say that he's Putin's right hand man. It doesn't seem like that's the case, but, uh, uh, but on the other hand, he's, he plays some kind of role, and to to hit to hear him or to, to read him saying, "No, we want all of Ukraine. We we consider all the the entire country to be in our dominion, uh, and we will not settle for a peace that only gives us Eastern Ukraine." I thought to myself, "That's that seems pretty counterproductive," and I felt ready to pivot, and then I and then it came out that uh, uh, that all. Uh, lame duck, dementia ridden Biden was uh, escalating things by uh, you know uh, saying Ukraine, encouraging Ukraine to go ahead and use the weapons that that he gave them to the tune of billions of dollars, of course, uh, at taxpayers' expense, uh, to uh, uh, to use them to to bomb a sovereign territory in Russia. Uh, uh, an attack attack uh, uh, Russia on its own um, territory, 
which would surely have a uh, uh, if if which if they did it would would surely elicit a response, and I don't even want to speculate about what that response might be. Um, but uh, the Kremlin is certainly certainly talking tough about that sort of thing, and I don't know. Maybe it's brinksmanship. Maybe it's seeing who will blink first, but it just doesn't seem, it seems like we should be trying to uh, establish peace in the region. Because what I, what I want to make clear is that I'm not pro-war. Um, and I think, you know, that uh, I, I would like to see the war in Ukraine come to an end. Um, and it seems to me that this is a territorial dispute that's very complicated and uh, uh, simply supporting the Kiev regime and all of their uh, all of their demands doesn't do justice to the complicated uh, matter uh, of this territorial dispute. When it comes to the eastern portion of Ukraine, um, but anyway, you had, so you had Dugan's article, which I don't, I, it was published at Arctos. It was pro, it's probably been published other places. That seems like a bit of saber rattling that doesn't help matters. And I, and so I, I was gonna, gonna pivot, but then I pivoted back when I heard, uh, this, uh, this new, uh, a bit of warmongering out of, uh, out of Washington, D.C., uh, from the, the lame duck uh, Biden administration. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I'm hoping that that uh, cooler heads prevail, but I, I, I just I don't know. You know, we have to we have to hope and pray for these kinds of things. Anyway, I wanted to express my thoughts on this matter. Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.